Thank you so much for watching this video. My name is John Bunka with Press Avenue. Today we're going to go through another WordPress tutorial on how to manage multiple websites. We're using a tool today called Infinite WP, and it allows you to do just that. We actually use it to manage just over 50 client sites, which makes the headache of logging in and out just to update things a lot easier. In this video, we do things from installing the plugin, uh, downloading it, setting it up, going through each setting, and then talking about how to add the add-ons. We've included in the description below links to each set, so if you already have it installed, you can skip ahead to the setup, etc. If you go ahead and click that subscribe button, it's that red button below, and that little bell, you'll see more great WordPress tutorials just like this one. Thanks so much for watching. In this video, we're going to install Infinite WP on a fresh WordPress install. So here I am at their website. This is the home page. It does change. Um, you can go ahead and read through it. We'll have another video all about this. So first click download and it shows some install options. They do have some recommendations. If you have one to 50 sites, they recommend shared hosting from 51 to 100. Reseller, which is typically a VPS anyway. 101 to 500 a VPS or more than 500 a dedicated server. So they do have those recommendations um, based on running their stuff. Further down, installer plugin, it says you need to have um, install WordPress plugin. That's easy. It's easiest if you use a fresh install. Um, so just do the five minute install or manually do it, however you do it. And then go to time needed, two minutes, difficulty easy. You start with downloading the plugin. Step two, you go to plugins, add it, upload it. And that's all that's here, way too many steps. Click activate and then click the blue button. We're gonna go ahead and go through that. So first we'll download the installer plugin. And I'm gonna to go to a fresh copy of WordPress, which is right here. Um, this is as of 4.9.8, so yours may look different. Uh, the only plugin on here currently is the classic editor and nothing else. So I'm going to choose. There's the panel. Install. It has a 2.0.1 and I downloaded it twice. That's that extra one. I go ahead and hit activate. And then you see it here. Welcome to Infinite WP. You're almost ready to manage all of your WordPress sites centrally. So I click install. And then it says, this plugin is just an installer. The infinite WP admin that you're installing will not be connected to the WordPress site in any way, except for the debate database. So what it does is you'll have this WordPress install like I do right here, but in a separate folder, which we name right here, will actually be the infinite WP uh, control panel. So it's almost like two sites in one. You have the WordPress backend, and then you have the backend of infinite WP. So you choose where you want it to go. Um, and then I always check the delete this plugin after successful installation, or you can leave it unchecked and manually do it. So I click download and install, and you give it a second here. It always takes a little longer on video. It's bigger. Uh, they have their license agreement. I agree, I'm sure you'll read it. Um, hosting information and port. So all this will be, of course, blurred out. Um, so the database name prefix, some people recommend that you change the prefix to something other than uh, what WordPress is using, but it's completely up to you. Um, so I just leave everything as is because um, it's a new install and I'm not gonna use um, the WordPress site itself. I'm merely just installing infinite WP. Next, create the login information. Um, so you'll want to create a hard password. So let's see, I'll click show. Show doesn't seem to work. You can see it refreshing. If I put some in, oh, that's funny. Okay, the show really doesn't work. Let's see. I can get a hard one. After that, I click next and it says 
MySQL error. Wonderful. All right, so I re-updated it, and now it says installing your admin panel. So I'll just give it a second here. Done, it's successful. So I click open. Oh, we've removed, okay. So it says we've removed the install folder um, for security reasons, which is fine. So now here's this, now I log in. Oh, whoops, wrong password. Oh no, it took it. All right, next we're inside of Infinite WP and it just has a few things to get started. So there's a security setup on how to secure your admin panel. When you click this, it pops a new window and shows you their documentation on how to do so. Um, install under SSL, open the configuration file and do this. So you'll need some FTP access a lot of it's just copy and paste. Um, if you protect the folder, etc., if you want to specify certain IPs only, um, you can do that and kind of lock it down a little bit more. Um, so I'm going to enable HTTPS, so that's automatically checked, so I leave it on. IP restriction, I don't currently do this because I have Comcast and they change it whenever they feel like it. Um, so I don't do that, so I hit continue. Usage stats, it says click here to send anonymous stats. I never ever do this. Um, I don't want to be in some database with my info being collected, so I always leave that off. So I hit done. All right, and here we are in the admin panel. And that's it for installing it. So we're gonna set up Infinite WP a little bit further. Uh, so first off, we're gonna add a website. So on this left-hand side, you could fill this whole bar with you know 50, 100 websites, whatever you got. But first, we'll just start by adding one. We'll click Add a Website. It needs a URL, a username, and an activation key. So how you get these is you go over to your WordPress install. And what I did is I logged in. I went to Plugins, and now I'm clicking Add New. After I click Add New, in the keyword search up here, I type IWP. I give it a second to search, and here it is right here. So the Infinite WP client. Um, this doesn't do anything unless you have Infinite WP. Uh, so just keep that in mind. So go ahead and click install. So it's installing it right now. And then I'm going to go ahead and activate it. After I do this, it gives me all three of those things that it's requesting back here. The URL, the username, and the activation key. So you'll see it right here at the top. I'm going to blur it out, but you'll see some of it there. Uh, the green button, if you copy the details, it copies all three lines at the same time. So you don't have to paste each one. So you just click at the very top, you do Command V, Control V, right click, paste, whatever you want to do. Uh, next, you can assign it to a group. So I'm going to call this one um, My Business. business. Um, you can do things like folder protection. Um, there's more advanced stuff if, if it doesn't connect right away site alias. Um, so instead of calling it the URL, you can give it a name. So I'm just going to call it press avenue instead of pressavenue.com. Additionally, you can put in FTP details, but I usually don't. I just leave it at this. So I go ahead and hit add site. So you see this kind of wheel spin around for just a second, and then it'll add it in. All right, so now that it's added in, You'll see on the top left hand corner, it says Press Avenue. Again, you can have a list of a lot of sites in here. Um, and then now it says fetch real time data from all websites. So I can click reload data. So now what it's doing is it's refreshing. Right now it says zero out of one site. If I come down to the uh, queue at the bottom, it says the same thing, it's reloading data. And then if you click that, it'll give you further information of right now, from Press Avenue, it's reloading the data from this site. This is all really helpful when you have more than one site. So if I'm reloading the data on 50 sites, um, if I come down here to the queue and I click this reload data button, over here it'll show me, you know, maybe one out of 10 sites didn't load properly and it'll show you which one so you can troubleshoot that one. 
So that shows green, green check boxes everywhere, shows everything is loaded. If I come over here to manage, there's zero updates on uh, Press Avenue. But on the top left here, if I hover over it, I can visit the site, write a new post, open the admin area here, which just puts it in this box here, open a new tab, back it up, view the backups, edit the details, reload the data, do a maintenance mode, see the server information, and then remove the site completely. Additionally, it shows what version of WordPress you're on, how many updates there are, installed plugins, so you can see them all there, how many are active, inactive, themes, active themes, etc. Um, I can add links and additional notes. I don't really use this, but I've heard people using it for either registrar links, um, Google Doc links, Evernote, and then the notes are your private notes for that client. So you can keep a running log, you can do whatever you want. Um, so there you go, that's how that works. All right, so that now that we've added a site, up here at the top, it just says the version you're on. You can see their Facebook and Twitter pages, which they don't update often. The bell shows you news. Again, they don't blog very often. It is October 30th, and here we are April 10th with the last blog post. The update center, um, check now, just tells you if you have the most recent version. Beta allows you to jump into their beta program. I've used it in the past, um, but I've had some problems with it, so I don't use it for my prime time stuff. Add-ons shows you all the add-ons that you can get. So here they are here. Um, if you buy the package here, 147, you get all the add-ons, or you can a la carte buy all the add-ons. I recommend these over the other ones. Got an idea, help is just help, and then settings is the next part we'll talk about. So account, um, this is how you log in and then at any activity, and you can test email notifications by clicking here and see if they actually come to your email. So it says test update email sent. What is this? So then it says right here, there's my Google update that uh, I just got. I do set this to a weekly notification and then uh, leave it as is. Under the app settings, uh, the simultaneous read and write request per IP address. So if you're hosting all of your client sites on the same server, I usually bring this down to one. You can do two, it, it depends on what you have. And then maximum simultaneous request from this server, which includes it installed. Again, I just bring it down to one, so I don't have sites or this site tripping over other sites. Time delay between requests, and this is in milliseconds for uh, websites on the same IP. I actually raise this all the way up. So I don't mind clicking go, having it update 50 websites then going to get a cup of coffee or something and then coming back and checking it. I never want to have this impact client server load. So just keep that in mind. Time zone. So I'm in Colorado. So I'll click Denver. Uh, reload the data on page load. I always do that. Again, send anonymous usage stats. I don't, I don't do that. Uh, the first three auklets of an IP address, consider it as the same server. I do do that and then auto-delete log data older than whatever. I actually don't do that, I just keep it. So go to save. Next, under security, um, you can uh, protect this folder. Um, you can do that in cPanel or any kind of control panel that you have uh, set up and you can really lock this down. Uh, under setup instructions, they have more there. You can do two-factor authentication, which I also recommend, which we can set up in another video. Email settings, the from and the to, or the from email and the from name you can set here. Additionally, you can set up uh, additional SMTP options. So if you use Gmail or G Suite, you can set these up to run through that. Um, next, cron. Uh, WordPress cron is okay. Um, sometimes I had problems with it firing. Um, you can set up a cron job in cPanel if that does it there. Um, I'm on WP Engine, so there is no cPanel. So I actually use the Easy Cron service. If you want to see how this is set up, just let me know in the comments below or just contact me. App update, um, it just shows you what's writable and what's not. And then connection method, I just leave it on auto. And then that's it. That's how you set up Infinite WP. Here we're going to go through Infinite WP and setting up the add ons. 
So if you log into the panel, right now I only have one site, which is just fine and no updates. So there isn't a lot to see here. If I go to add-ons, it says I can get all these great add-ons. So for $147 a year, which is pretty cheap, um, I can get up to 10 sites updated. And then I get all these add-ons here. So I'm not going to go through all of them, but just a few that I like. The client branding plugin, uh, managing users, scheduling a backup. Um, I like the malware scanner and the uptime monitors. Additionally, let's see. Then I do some of these other scanning ones, but I don't use them too often. I just kind of use those and use it as an updater. So to get this installed after you've purchased one of these, if I click this now, it just brings me to the cart to buy it, but I already have it purchased. Um, so I'll go ahead and connect now. Now it needs my infinitewp.com username and password. So just go ahead and put in yours. And I click login. And that's my password manager. And then it says for mine, this is actually connected to another panel. Do you want it to connect it to this panel instead? So all that means is I actually do have another panel set up, but I wanted to create this video just for you. So I've created a new one completely. So just for the sake of this video, let's see. So it'll break the other panel and they'll be uninstalled and that's fine. So I said, yes, please connect this panel instead. So now it's loading and now it's done. So now you'll see up here, it says add-ons 26. So I have 26 add-ons available just because I have the all add-ons package. So down here, you purchase the following add-ons so you can see them all there. Um, you can go up here. Oh no, that doesn't do it. You can just click install add-ons and then it asks for my password one more time to make sure I know what I'm doing. All right, now it's installing all the add-ons. So it pops up this white box and if you just give it a second, it will show the add-ons being installed. All right, so that took longer than I thought, probably because it was downloading 26 of them. We see at the top, it says checking. Now we come down here, it says downloading, direct file sip system, unzipping, downloading, repeat 26 times. And it gives you the option to reload the app. So when I click app reload, and it refreshes that site automatically because that's how I set it in the settings. When I go to add-ons, it shows all of the add-ons here and it shows that they are on. So I can turn them off or on, it's up to you. Um, so I'll go back to add-ons here. It's been activated, there we go. So that's how you do your add-ons. If you have any questions about Infinite WP, the settings, something that you need more clarification on, please let us know in the comments below. If this video was helpful in any way, I would love a thumbs up. Additionally, uh, let me know in the comments how it helped you or didn't help you so we can create better videos just for you. Go ahead and hit that red subscribe button. It's over on the right hand side and hit that bell. It's also red subscribe on the video itself. If you have any questions related to WordPress, would like to see a WordPress tutorial, or anything related to it from Google Analytics to managing multiple sites to freelancing, etc. please go to our website, pressavenue.com, click ask a question and go ahead and just fill this form out. And that's how we come up with a lot of the content for videos just like this one. Thanks again for watching the Press Avenue YouTube channel.